Hey, what's up guys, it's Griffin here, and today I'm doing a tutorial on how to make a simple, clean text render using Cinema 4D. So, what you're going to need for this is Cinema 4D, obviously. Most of you designers should already have that, but if you don't, just look up on YouTube like Cinema 4D Crack or something, and it'll be pretty easy to download, I think. Uh, and you're also going to need the Lightroom that I use, which is Synergy Robbie's Lightroom. I don't use my own Lightroom because I don't really like mine. So I just use his. It was free, so I'll have a download link to it in the description. So once you have that downloaded, you're going to open it in Cinema 4D. Then as you can see, you have your lights ready. Then you're going to go to MoGraph, then go down and click MoText. That'll open a text object. So once you have that Lightroom downloaded, you're going to open it in Cinema 4D, obviously. And then, there you go, you have your lights and everything. Then you're going to go up to MoGraph, right here. Then you're going you're gonna to go down to MoText. That'll make a text object. Then, as you can see, you can't really see it because it's below your lights and everything. So you're going to use the Move tool. Then you're going to drag it up until you can see it. And then we're just going to zoom out and rotate until you can see it fine. Okay, so now it's really easy to see and it's visible. So now just change it to whatever text you want. Make sure you're on the tab object so you can change the font and everything. So I'm just going to change it to text for now. Um, then you're going to change the font to a font that I use for most of my Cinema 4D text renders, which is called Ubuntu. I'll have a download link to it in the description if you don't already have it. Uh, and then change it to bold, because bold looks better. Okay, so there you go. It, it already looks pretty good. Okay, so now that you have that Lightroom open, you're going to go to MoGraph then go to MoTeX so you can open the text object then as you can see it's under everything you're gonna move, make sure you're on the move tool to start off and then you're gonna drag it up until you can see it then just use these tools right here to kinda drag out and make sure it's visible make sure the entire text is visible okay so now that you can see it you're going to change the text to whatever you want. I'm just going to have it be text again. Um, just for the tutorial. And now, you're going to change it to whatever font you like. I, use in, I like using the font Ubuntu. I'll have a download link to it in the description for you to download. Uh, put it to bold. And yeah, now that you have that, make sure it's visible. Um, I'm just going to turn the depth up a little bit to like let's say third uh about 40 yeah it looks good okay so now we're just going to pre-render this and see how this looks all right it already looks pretty good but we're also going to make some minor changes to it so so you're going to click on your text object then go under the caps tab folder or whatever and then what we're going to do is we're going to give it kind of a smooth soft effect on the edges so you're going to click cap on top then you're going you're going to put it to fill a cap and then as you can see it gives it like a smooth effect on the edges so we're going to change the radius to like 1 so it's not intense so yeah that looks good then go back up to your text object then you're going to highlight it now press C on your keyboard and that's going to turn it into all it's going to turn all the letters into their own separate layers so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate all the letters to give it like kind of a I don't know what to call it like abstract effect or I don't know you'll see so highlight any one of your letters then you're gonna just rotate it using the rotate tool make sure you're on the rotate tool up here then just kinda drag it kinda randomly and yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, so now we're going to pre-render this. See how it looks. As you can see, like, rotating it, it just gives it, like, 
just makes it look better, I guess. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Alright, so, yeah, now that we have that, we're gonna make a, we're just gonna make a little white material, so, go down to your materials section, then double click to make a new material, and then you're gonna double click that material, and make sure you're on color, and click color, and then just make it completely white, and then we're gonna put some reflection on it, so check reflection, then put the, put the brightness to like 40, yeah, 40 is good. And then we're going to drag this material onto your text. And we'll see how this looks now. Yeah, this looks really nice. So as you can see, now it's shiny. Uh, and it just looks really nice. And that's pretty much it. Um, but also what we're going to do is you're going to highlight... Motex and then hold down control then you're gonna click camera now you have both of those highlighted now you're gonna rotate it uh, choose the red one then drag up until it's like until the text is kinda on the bottom of your Lightroom and then as you can see it's brighter uh, because it's it's like facing the lights above it so we're gonna pre-render this again and see how this looks So it also, also it's all about personal preference. So if you like it the way the other way it was, like how it was a little bit darker and you could see the you could it was more shiny. It had more of a shiny effect. Then you can do that. But I think this one looks better how it's brighter. Uh, but yeah, it's all about personal preference. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and also comment what tutorial you'd like to see next. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it.